Novak Djokovic has said that female tennis players should be paid less than men. The 11 time major prize winner says money should be distributed according to who attracts more attention, spectators, and who sells more tickets. At the moment, in the biggest competitions, it is shared equally. Well, well, the world number one in the women's game, Serena Williams, has hit back, calling his comments offensive, saying there is only one way to interpret that and get on your knees, which is offensive enough, and thank a man. It all follows comments by one tennis boss that women in tennis ride on the coattails. Of the men, well, with me is sports journalist Natasha Henry. What do you think? I think that um, Mr Moore's comments were ill-advised, for want of a better phrase. Um, the connotations of get on your knees to a female, we, we all know what he was generalising to. Yeah, but getting away from perhaps the, the unsavoury language, the point he's trying to make is that the men's game is just more popular than the women's, isn't it? Are we talking viewing figures? Are we talking fans? Because viewing figures will show that the Australian Open, more people watch the women's final than watch the men's. Mm -hmm. Are we saying that, you know, they should give some of their money over to the women? The women aren't saying that. Why some, can't we? But some men are. I mean, you know, Novak Djokovic is saying that he believes that to be the case. Perhaps someone's pointed out to him the Australian Open figures. Well, maybe they haven't. <laughs> I, I feel like he um, started digging himself a hole and didn't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. He should have said, you know what? This is a situation, but can we talk about the final that I've just won rather than talking about women's hormones and bodies? Mm. Uh, when it comes to the women's game, uh, unfortunately, it's not always true that the most successful players get paid the most money because Serena Williams, you'd think, would be paid the most, and she's not. I mean, she's one of the most successful sports people ever, tennis, outside of tennis. But Maria Sharapova, who maybe fits a more commercial, commercially visible um, person mm. earns more money than her, a lot more money. Which, which in some ways goes to, to back up what Djokovic was saying. It, it, it's, it's a commercial thing, it's not fair necessarily. Well, if, if Djokovic is that worried about equality, then why doesn't he insist that the men play three sets and the women, or the women play five? And then once you have an equality on the, on the court, mm. what's his argument then? Is it going to be that women have wombs or, you know, because obviously our hormones and our bodies mean that life affects us so much harder than men. Just, just to finish off, Natasha, and broadening out to, to, to all sports, is it a problem that because of a bygone era, Victorian times, and a lot of these sports were established, they were essentially just played by men. It's taken an awful long time for interest in women's sports to catch up. No, I think it's just a societal thing. And I think sport, whether it's football, tennis, athletics, mm. is just symptomatic of the wider society around it. And there will always be something for the, the more prominent sports people or more prominent people in life to use as an excuse to knock those who are more diverse down. OK, Natasha, many thanks indeed. Thank you.